Hello again, magical land of YouTube. So today I have a little review on a mod called the Back Mod. I did a previous review on it, which was a prototype V1. These are the finished product. Uh, I'm not what ver I'm not sure which version they're on at this point, uh, two or three, with their upgrades and additives that they've put into this mod. I have two different models for you. Uh, to start it off, Beck Mods is based out of Utah. Uh, it's a high quality uh, mod built by a master machinist, which he knows electrical, uh, woodworking, uh, metalwork, stuff like that. Uh, and as far as the mod goes, it's used with either walnut or maple. And they do this really cool ink press with the maple. As you can tell, it's been clear coated. Uh, sanded and clear coated to give it that luster. The ink pressed version, as you can tell, they use a colored ink and they, when they uh, press it into the wood, the less dense areas soak up the ink and the more dense areas do not, as you can tell. These are a three piece wood design. You can see the seam that runs along the back side. It also runs along the front, the front and the bottom. And then the door, separate piece as well. So that one is the maple. This one is a walnut one. This one has a light clear coat, but not a super smooth sanded finish like this one does. Um, both of them have press fit doors. So you just take this front portion, push on it, and the door pops out. Nice tight fit. Every one of them runs a mop set, so you can run these things as low as you want to depending on the manufacturer's uh, suggestions for your batteries. You don't want to put some crappy batteries in and run .01. Uh, that wouldn't be very smart. And again, this one as well. Press on the top portion of the door. Door comes off. And you can tell, uh, clean wiring diagram. Everything is uh, wired in parallel. And if you're unfamiliar with parallel versus series, uh, parallel <clears throat> keeps the same voltage. I'm just going to keep it simple. Parallel stays the same voltage. So if your battery is fully charged at 4.2 or if it's starting to dip below 3.7, that all depends on how charged your battery is. But uh, for this situation, I'm running Sony batteries, authentic Sonys, uh, VTC4s. I like the 4 because it has lower internal resistance. And those are rated for 30, 30 continuous amps. So I would have a 60 amp rating in a parallel build. Uh, series is a little bit different. It doubles your voltage, which sometimes can be unsafe to the beginner or intermediate uh, sub-ohm vapor. And this one right here, I'm running two G power, 35 amp batteries, 35 amp continuous. Uh, as far as manufacturer says, so that would equal 70 amps, which allows you to build really low. Uh, the benefit to running a box mod, if any of you have ever ran <clears throat> a copper tube mod, this is my copper Morpheus, 510, 18650, uh, single tube, this tends to get hot with a low build. The the actual battery radiates heat through the through the elect or through the body of the mod, and the reason why is you are drawing more electricity than the battery is meant to handle, so it's going to create heat within the battery. So if you're running that same build on two 30 amp batteries, you're calling for this much, but it's capable of doing this much. It's like overstressing a motor. Uh, you don't want to overstress a motor, and this allows you to run higher amps, which is a lower lower ohm build, and without having the uh, discomfort of battery heat or the danger of possibly venting a battery, which is a definite bonus of this. The other bonus that I see is with a tube mod, you tend to wear through batteries in a matter of two, three hours for my builds. Um, this, you, I have been going 
six to eight hours on the two battery setup, vaping continuously all day. Right now I'm running a 0.16 ohm on my Patriot V2, uh, seven wrap. It's a seven wrap nichrome uh, parallel build on a 330 seconds bit and it comes into 0.16. That's the hardest hitting 0.16 ohm I've ever seen. When you're using high quality wire and high quality materials inside of your mod, you will get a bigger bang for your buck because it is conducting electricity more efficiently. Another thing about these Beck mods that you don't see in a lot of box mods, pop these batteries out, if you look on that bottom plate, they use springs in the bottom to keep pressure on your batteries, but they use copper plating and a solid wire in the back. And with this little kink on the front of that plate, which you can kind of see it there, that kink prevents the plate from warping and uh, becoming misshapen. So you've got a solid, durable surface that has uh, been hammered to create uh, convex surfaces. Convex is like a like a half half of a sphere uh, to push on both ends of your battery to prevent any shorting out or black spotting on the bottom of your battery. So I'm running 0.16 on that one and this is my authentic uh, TOBH uh, V2 not a 2.5, I just have the regular V2. Um, <clears throat> this one, I'm running a similar build. It's 24 gauge nichrome on a 7 64ths drill bit. And this one reads in at 0 0.10 ohms. Different builds for different atomizers work better for me and the way they're set up. I like to do angled coils with the toe because I don't grind my tabs off if I tend to or if I want to resell my TOBH it hasn't been altered with too much I do drill out the holes though let's say you're vaping on it for quite some time you can touch the batteries and feel them and notice that there is almost no but or no battery heat at all and because they do run MOFSET MOFSET is a protection device for your button that prevents it's a junction box for uh, electricity it prevents full current traveling to your button and then out of your button back to your 510 uh, what what a moth set does is it bridges it so a light current travels through and when that connects it links it together and in doing so uh, you don't have too much current running through your through your button buttons on some mods have been known to fail because they don't use a moth set and you're running too low of ohms if you're a intermediate vapor that likes a box mod with a, let's say a rebuildable tank you don't need a MOF set most of the time because you're not running low enough ohms on a tank to require a, uh, a voltage disconnected with your button, which is a MOF set. So anytime you're uh, sub-ohming with a dripper or it could be a Jenny tank and you're sub-ohming pretty deep, uh, you do want a MOF set in your, in, your, uh, in your mod. So that is my brief explanation of the Beck mod. If you are on Facebook, look look up Beck Box Mods, B E C K, B O X M O D S. They range in prices. Uh, the higher, this one's got a little bit higher quality button, a little bit better feel to it. It's a little bit thicker wood, and it does have that uh, uh, super smooth sanding with a uh, multi-layer clear coat. This one's going to be closer to two hundred dollars. 
when this one's going to be in the low 100s with a uh, hard edge instead of the round edge, as you can tell. It's been sanded a little bit less, and it has a lighter layer of clear coating. You can get both forms in maple or, or walnut. I personally like the look of the maple. Uh, they do have different colors, different styles of... Uh, they have one that looks like a tiger, tiger stripes. It's just really cool how they can uh, transform the wood and make it look so beautiful. Well, that is it for today. Uh, check back for more reviews on whatever is coming up. Mods, juice, whatever. I no longer am selling a juice line, so I am no longer required to stay away from juice reviews. So I'm free and open now. Until next time, vape on.